Featured with up to four axes of motion, the National Instruments PCI 7340 is a dual-capability motion controller for stepper and servo motors. This PCI-based controller offers completely programmable and customizable motion control, with dedicated hardware and signals for limit switches, home switches, and various additional general-purpose IOA functions. The Knight PCI 7340 allows users to process as many as 10 motion programs simultaneously. This model uses motion profiles controlled through enhanced PIF-PID servo updates. The Knight PCI 7340 also offers non-dedicated user IOA, including four analog inputs and 32 bits digital inputs outputs. The four analog inputs are used for joystick inputs or plus or minus 10 volt signals. This controller counts on the DSP, Digital Signal Processor, for PID control computation, position tracking, and more. The National Instruments PCI 7340 motion controller device comes with an embedded real-time OS, or RTOS. Its embedded firmware relies on an RTOS and offers optimum system performance in dynamic motion applications. The DSP chip operates as a standalone, separate processor, but it works in close synchronization with the main processor. This motion controller features trajectory generators for precise calculation of position command that control the DRIVE backwotes acceleration and velocity. In its standard configuration, this command is sent to the stepper pulse generator or PID servo loop. The Knight PCI7340 device comes with a 12-bit 8-channel multiplexed ADC. The values converted through the ADC are sent to both the CPU and DSP by means of an integrated and dedicated serial bus. National Instruments PCI 7340 frequently asked questions question. Do I need to connect the PCI 7340 to the Yumi 7774 during initialization from Max? Answer. You do not need to connect the PCI 7340 to the Yumi 7774 in order to initialize. Question. Why do I keep getting a timeout error when using the Knight PCI 7340? Answer. A timeout error when initializing the Knight PCI 7340 could be caused from not updating the firmware on the card. To confirm that your firmware is updated, look for the Firmware tab at the bottom of your window and select it. There will be an Update Firmware button at the top of the window now. If you have already updated the firmware, the button will be grayed out. Question. Why am I getting a message that all axes are disabled upon power up with the PCI 7340 and Max? Answer. If you're getting a message that all axes are disabled when using the PCI 7340, check in max under motion IOA settings and make sure inhibit input settings is enabled.